I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video today and uh, kind of show you my pre-flight of the airplane. Um, I've modeled my pre-flight pretty much like uh, the old Cessnas. Um, I have a lot of time in 172s. That was where my, most of my early training was on. So I kind of use the same sort of a flow around the airplane um, as with the Cessnas. First step is uh, to uh, put down the flaps and then I usually start back by the baggage door just make sure everything looks good there um, work my way down to the tail make sure everything looks normal no bird strikes or anything like that no wrinkles in the, shin, uh, the skins on the uh, the tail check all the fasteners on the uh, the fairings also take a look at the uh, inside edge of these uh, the ribs here make sure there's no cracks where the counterweights are located uh, there can be some stresses there, but there's some doublers put in there to stiffen that up um, after they saw some cracks on some of the earlier planes. Uh, just kind of generally look at the condition of the uh, tail, make sure everything's okay. Come back down here, check the, uh, the uh, security of the fastener on the uh, trim tab. Uh, also the tail cone, make sure that's good. Make sure there's nothing on the wire there for the trim motor. Take a look at the motion of the rudder, make sure it looks normal. Uh, take a peek at the uh, hinges there, everything looks good. Uh, on the underside, don't see any wrinkles in the skin. Check for the uh, security of the fasteners for the hinge uh, system for both the trim tab and for the, uh, the elevator itself. There's these uh, screws that secure the hinge pins for the piano hinges. Make sure those are in good shape. Again, check all the fasteners on this side for the fairings. Looking at the inside of the rib, that looks good. Come back around. Again, check the, uh, the rudder. Make sure everything looks good. Uh, come back up the side of the airplane. Now we go move on to the wing. Uh, check the condition of these uh, flap tracks and the uh, hardware that secures them. Make sure this is not bound. This is the actuator for the flaps and make sure the uh, jam nut is in position. It appears to be in good shape. I check the jam nut on the other side with my finger. I can feel it. Then I come down again, the other flap track, make sure that's good and the bearings are good. All the hardware is secure. On the aileron, there's a uh, another screw that holds the hinge for the piano hinge for the uh, aileron trim. Check that, make sure the security of that push rod is good, that the jam nut's on good. Go inside, make sure the uh, actuator rod for the ailerons itself is in there and the jam nut's good, everything looks good. All that works. Come down to the other hinge. I can see the, I can see the safety wire inside there that holds the bolt, so make sure that's good. I uh, check the counterweight for uh, secure uh, nothing in the uh, vent for the fuel tank. Check the uh, lights, the position lights, the nav lights on there. Check the fasteners on the wing tip. Those all look good. Um, make sure that the uh, vortex generator on top of the wing is secure. Hold down strap is good. Generally the condition of the wing, again, looking for wrinkles or anything like that. Uh, it all looks pretty good. The inside vortex generator, I take a quick peek at the bolts that hold the door hinges on. Um, make sure there's nothing plugging the static port, no bugs or anything in there. Uh, then I check the uh, engine oil. I usually like to run it at about uh, six quarts. If I go much more than six quarts, it tends to just kind of blow it out. Uh, everything looks good in there. I don't see anything loose. I'll secure that. Check the condition of the cowling itself, the hinge pins that hold the cowling, the top half on, and the bolts, sorry, machine screws, I should say, uh, that hold the cowling on. Those all look good. Check the fasteners on the spinner. Run my finger over the edge of the uh, propeller looking for nicks. Don't feel anything. Check the tension on the uh, alternator belt, make sure it's good. Take a peek inside the uh, intake, looking at the filter, 
make sure I don't see any critters that have gone in there. And then just give a quick tug on the exhaust, make sure nothing feels loose. Generally looking at the uh, condition of the nose gear, that the, uh, the bolt looks in, in place properly and nothing looks out of place. Nothing's rubbing. Again, looking at the cowling. Then on the pilot side, static port looks good. Nothing in the vent. Inboard vortex generator also looks good. Security of the uh, pitot tube, everything looks good there. Work my way up the leading edge of the wing on this side. Outboard vortex generator looks good. The vent for this side fuel of the fuel system. The lights on the wingtip and also all of the fasteners for the wingtip fairing. Security of this counterweight for the aileron. Again, check the uh, condition of the safety wire that holds the uh, hinge bolt in place. Coming down to this side, there's a push rod for the uh, servo tab that's on the aileron. Make sure both ends of those are, are secure. Take a peek up inside and look at the uh, push rod for the aileron and the jam nut on that. All that looks good. Um, again, there's a, a screw that holds the uh, hinge pin for this uh, uh, servo tab. Make sure that's tight. Then the, uh, this flap on this side, make sure the, again, the hardware for the uh, bearings look good. The push rod for this flap is good and the jam nuts are in place. And again, the uh, push rod flaps, or the, uh, push rod, the uh, flap uh, track bearings there. And both tires, main tires look good. So then the next step would be to uh, check the fuel, and that's what we'll do next.